Did you know that 25 million people visit the National Mall in Washington, D.C. each year, taking in famous monuments and learning all about our country's history? Now, the mall is being rebuilt to become the best park in the world. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum, and I'm joined by Caroline Cunningham, president of the Trust of the National Mall. Caroline, welcome to the program. Thanks so much, Robert. I think most Americans, and even folks that come to this country that are not from this country mm -hmm. recognize that the National Mall is a very special place. It houses a lot of our monuments. It houses a lot of our museums. It's an open air, uh, feel good place. Mm -hmm. But what I think most people don't realize is that that was designed in the 19th century and here we are in the 21st century, actually designed in the 18th century. Right. Why is that the case, that most people do not realize um, that this is a national treasure that needs to be preserved? You know, I just don't think that they've heard the story. I think that they look at the symbols of our country, the Lincoln, the Washington Monument, the Jefferson Memorial, and those are really powerful symbols. But I think when people walk around and, and walk from site to site... And feel it and experience it. They get a very different sense of what's really there. Um, the sidewalks are broken down. The tidal basin actually floods twice twice a day by the tides. Um, there's serious damage on the National Mall. Um, but I, I do think that um, everybody has that wonderful vision of what it is sure. and what it means to our country. Uh, but then their experience is something different when they get at the place. You mentioned some unfortunate truths. The unfortunate truths are is that, frankly, uh, our National Mall has been neglected. It is. Um, it has been neglected for various reasons, you know, whether it be political or, or whatever, whatever the case may be. So what is the solution to bring the National Mall into the 21st century with, 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 of course, protecting its legacy and preserving it for the future? Well, the Trust for the National Mall is really an arm and a nonprofit partner of the National Park Service. We are a private nonprofit and we're raising $350 million to restore the National Mall. How much? $350 million. That's a lot. And um, the blueprint for our work is the National Mall Plan. It was signed by Secretary Salazar uh, in 2011 or 2010, November. And it sets out a vision for the future of the the National Mall really to meet the needs of the public who visit. 25 million, as you mentioned, the public, uh, the National Park Service estimates that there are going to be 40 million in the next six or seven years. And these are just basic needs. This is sidewalk repair, restroom facilities, uh, bathrooms. Ba yeah. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. you know, I don't think most people realize, but there's there's not a, a cohesive place to to congregate and to use the facilities or to be, perhaps get something to eat. There's a lot of vendors. It's not user friendly, is what I'm trying to say. And that's what the Park Service has done through the. National Mall Plan. They've really set out a smart plan, and the Trust for the National Mall is um, starting with two projects, one on the Washington Monument grounds over by the Sylvan Theater and Constitution Gardens, which was um, built in the 1970s for the Bicentennial. In fact, you mentioned that the National Mall has been neglected. It really saw the last infusion of capital uh, for the Bicentennial. And, uh, wow, that's almost 40 years ago. 40 years ago. Unbelievable. I, I mean, I'm almost speechless because we, we have this vision that we are the most powerful, the, the most wealthiest uh, country on, on the planet. One would think just from a common sense perspective that we would take care of our National Mall because it's a reflection of who we are. And that's what we think. The Trust wants to make the National Mall the best um, park in the world. And it's more than that. It is a symbol of our democracy. You mentioned the fact that millions of um, international tourists mm -hmm. and Americans from all over the country come to see who we are as a nation. And and they should be wowed by that space. Absolutely. Caroline, we got about 15 seconds left. Very quickly, for the viewers at home that are watching this program, how can they get involved very quickly? You should go to nationalmall.org and join the Friends of the National Mall. All right. We've got to raise $350 million. Yes. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. And of course, thank you for for joining us for this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Robert Trainum. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you next time. And make sure you visit the National Mall.